Well hello everybody, welcome to another short short video from me, Jitoshi. Today I'm going to show you very quickly how you can inscribe a transfer from your BRC tokens. I'm just hovering over the BTC GS that was inscribing last night, this pump last night. If you got 100,000 in one of your mints, you can now sell it for about $150. So quite a nice turnaround. But let's get on to the matter at hand. Now how would you inscribe a transfer so you can sell one of these when you've inscribed one? Well let's have a look. You can connect to the site and do this with the site, but I'm going to show you one of the easier options. You're going to open your actual wallet, your Unisat wallet. You'll obviously then get the prompt to sign in. Upon signing into your wallet, you'll be given the option to look at your images or to look at your BRC20s. You're going to press the BRC20. Here it will show all the BRC20s that you own. And you'll notice, for instance, like these Tate ones, I have 10,000 available, but 5,000 transferable. My balance is 15,000. That's because I have inscribed a transfer for 5,000, and I have another 10,000 available that I can use. So for the purposes of this example, we'll look at dollar bit. So if I wanted to get some of this, obviously I can't mint it because it's all minted out. I would just press transfer. It will then open another window to say how much I can transfer. I'll just press the inscribe transfer. And here I would put the amount. I've got 12,000 available, so I can put, say, 2,000. Then I would press next, and I would confirm this transaction in my wallet. I'm not going to do that because it's currently 71 sats and I don't really want any dollar bit that bad. But that is how you would do it. Once this transaction has gone through the mempool and confirmed, it will then take three blocks to confirm. So for instance, if you've just done the transaction at 75 sats, it will be in this block here because it's in between 71 and 1115. Jesus. But once this block confirms and it goes here, you will then have to wait for three more block confirmations before you can actually list the BRC20 with Unisat. This is just to protect against any double spends and to make sure it is a verified inscription. Once they've been confirmed, so say once this block gets to down here, you can then go back to your Unisat. You would then navigate to Marketplace rather than BRC20 and you would click on the BRC20 tab just here on the left. And here you would search for the BRC20 you want to sell. So for instance, we just looked at doing the bit. So you put dollar BIT. And it'll bring it up here. Press OK. And this will show you the ones that are currently for sale. And once you connect your wallet, it will show your BRCs in here. So you press my BRCs and you would list your BRC on here at whatever price you would like to do. And obviously this applies for different BRC20s. You can do this with any, for instance. So if you had some Audi, which is currently trading quite well, about $12.30 12 $12 for one. So for example, say if you had some Audi, we'll run over it once more. You would open up your wallet. It would open up your wallet in the tab of your extension. You would then press BRCs. You would select the BRC you wanted. This isn't Audi, it's Audi NL, a little bit of a different one. But you would then, it would then give you this screen here. You would press transfer. Upon getting this transfer, it would say how many you have available, which we don't have any. Any transfer inscriptions available. So we're going to inscribe some. So how many do we want from our possible 20,000? Well, say you want one. You then press next. And then when I press this, it would then confirm this in the blockchain. And this is the actual preview of the inscription that you're sending. But I don't want to do that because it's not worth it doing it for that particular BRC. However, if you had some audit, it would be well worth doing. Because as you can see, if you inscribe, say, I don't know, five, you'd be able to sell them for a reasonable fee, which would more than cover your inscription costs. But it's well worth taking that into consideration when you're inscribing your BRC20s. But that's how you inscribe a transfer. That's all, folks.